there's lots of things that I've purchased from Amazon and there's lots of things that I recommend you don't purchase from Amazon for making candles and wax melts. I wouldn't ever purchase fragrance oil, wax or wicks from Amazon because you don't know the quality of them and if you go to repurchase them you don't always know the size of things like the wicks to be able to recreate it. You're far better purchasing those items from an actual candle making um, shop online. More information about those in another video. So what I have purchased from Amazon though is metal jugs. These are fantastic. They're quite expensive, but they will last forever. The great thing is you can use the heat gun to heat them up before pouring wax into them, which means that you can get better temperatures and your wax obviously doesn't cool down as quickly. They wash really well and you can use alcohol to wipe them out as well to get rid of any fragrances. The wick centering tools. There's lots of different types available. I do use these ones sometimes. I also use ones that have been 3D printed, especially for the jars I use, but they're a great starting place, the metal ones. Spatulas, I have about eight of these. They come, I think they come in packs of four. They're great, they're a great size for the jugs. They wash really well and they're easy to keep clean and keep the fragrance oil off them. Slightly embarrassed about the state of my scales, they definitely need cleaning, but that's the joy of working with wax and fragrance oil. I have two sets of these, I've got one up in the studio, then I have one downstairs for weighing parcels. They're really good because the plate on them, you can put bigger things on and it weighs them. But I do for fragrance oils have, and again these are in a bit of a state now, with the fragrance oils I've got on them. I do have smaller scales as well. These give a better reading for the smaller amounts you'll need for fragrance oil if they go down to the decimal points. Gloves. When I'm making candles and wax melts, I wear gloves just in case you get the fragrance oils and you get lots of different things on your hands. It just saves any irritation or anything from the neat oils. This is actually on Amazon as a photography or a photo holder box but I actually use it for all my advice cards and thank you notes and storing them so I can easily find which ones I need. So for my, for example, my diffuser safety sheets, they're double sided. I design and print them all here, but it just is great organization. The final thing that I've purchased from Amazon are these soup kettles that I use for melting wax. They work with water inside the base and then you put your wax in to melt it. These big metal parts come out and the water goes underneath. Then they've got a dial on them that goes from zero to 10 and you can turn it up to 10 to melt your wax and then judge what you need to turn it down to in order to keep it at a stable temperature. I use two different types of wax, hence having two. And then I use the IKEA thermometer when I'm using them. They're absolutely <laughs> covered in wax, as you can see. I use a ladle to ladle out the wax into a jug when I'm using them. But they're great if you want to step up from just melting wax in a double boiler and have it sitting there sort of at the right temperature for making lots of batches. They're absolutely brilliant.